So look, over the years, I have found that there are just five key areas that you need to understand to really grow your business and to master money management. And the first one is motive. Now what do I mean by motive? Your motive is your why. Why are you in business? Why do you want more money? How much money do you want? I'm really passionate about going on when you fail. I mean, in my personal life, I have had some failures. But you see, by a growth mindset, it means that when you fail, you get up and go. Yeah, there is no failures, guys. There is no failures. There is only results. There is only outcomes. You learn from your experiences. If you started a business and it didn't work well, you haven't failed. You, you should learn some lessons from that. that. You know, there's a saying that the best way to do an MBA is to do a business that failed. Because you go through all of the dynamics, the operations, the finance, the IT. Yes, and you learn from that and you pick up yourself and you go again. That is what I mean by a growth mindset. And it's all about the process, not the results. Yeah, it's about the process. Even in business, don't think about the money. Because if you just think about the money and you go after the money, you're going to go after the wrong thing. You should be passionate. Your why, as I said, should be bigger than you. You should be able to give it value, helping people. And that's a growth mindset. Yes? And let me tell you this. The time to enhance your financial intelligence is now. Because once you're in business, or once you have the idea, now is the time. Don't wait until you are, have lost the passion. Don't wait until you have busy, you've lost the business. Then it's too late. When you are in business, it's the best time to take action. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Cool. And look, with the global recession and Brexit, it's so uncertain. A recession is actually on the horizon. And it's the businesses that are really strong, the businesses that are, have put in place the right processes, that have built up that pot of money, that pot of assets, that have multiple investments, those are the businesses that are really going to withstand the recession. And hence, as a business owner, you need to prepare yourself for that today. Yes?